Welcome to Hollywood's next wave of leading men. Our next guest has quickly made a name for himself in the U.S. and the United Kingdom. You know him from the drama series 911. It's Oliver Stark. Now, your character on 911 is named Evan Buckley. Evan Buckley. Oh, and oddly enough, God. Frank Buckley here. We must uh, be related. It's fate. We are, were meant to meet. Oh are, you the, are you the distant, uh, dare I say, fitter? Uh, well, I don't know. How dare you? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, well, maybe. I think there, yeah, there could I be some. I, I'd take it if, if that was the case. There, I would as well. Thank there you. We, go. we were talking about this off camera. Uh, I mean, both big, uh, thriving cities, mm. London and L.A., compare contrast. I, th I think L.A. is just so sprawling. You know, there's there's so much of it, and, and which can sometimes be a hindrance, I think, to everyday life because it's, oh, I want to do this. I have to sit in the car for... Yes. 45 minutes yeah. to an hour, uh, whereas London, you can just, you know, hop on the tube and, uh, and be there quite easily. Um, so, so, yeah, I think maybe I'm a little more productive in London, but I, I certainly find that L.A. brings out a better side to me uh -huh. mentally. I All right, yeah. which begs yeah. that uh, British girls, American girls. Oh, compare oh come on, my, my, my longtime partner is American, so, okay. so, so right. absolutely American. All right, well, there we go. We, we, we sorted that out. <laughs> uh, in 911, which is based in L.A., absolutely. Um, you guys do all sorts of different things, and you, what, tsunamis, earthquakes, there's been a lot. Yeah, uh, I feel like if you didn't know L.A. and you just watched 911, you would think, why would, would anybody ever yes. move there? Um, <laughs> your life would most certainly be in danger, but yeah, we, we like to go big, and, and the show has kind of found its niche where some episodes we do go really big and crazy, and it's all about spectacle, and then other episodes it's kept much smaller and, and kind of these quirky little emergencies. Um, and have you, I mean, here's the thing, obviously you're an actor, but have you, like, if suddenly fire were to break out here, could mm. you save us all? Well, I, I, I wouldn't count on that, but I would <laughs> certainly try. Um, okay, I, I do you. think that maybe I've become a little braver and a little more knowledgeable about certain things, yeah. but I, I would fear You wouldn't run out you. first and knock me over on the way like these two would. would I guess we'll find out. <laughs> uh, well, hopefully we won't find out. Um, um, you've got uh, martial arts training as well. Yeah, so I, I did a show uh, before this called Into the Badlands, which was martial arts based. So, so before each season, we would have these big extended periods of these training camps. And, uh, you know, I, I'm not that I was fantastic at it, right. but I did do some of it. And it, it, it was great for my body and, and uh, you know, something I, I really enjoyed and still have interest in. We didn't notice your body at all. No, I'm uh, <laughs> kidding. Uh, for one, of course, big co-stars Angela Bassett, Jennifer mm. Love Hewitt, so many people. Clip uh, from next week's episode, look. Hey, can I take a look at that? <laughs> I, uh, I meant your hand. This is it's just a scratch. Well, I, I specialize in scratches. Here, why don't you take a seat? <sighs> um, so, aside from planning pre-death funerals, what exactly does an end-of-life doula do? Well, if your job is to prevent death, my job is to help people accept it. No, you, uh, you might say death and I are old acquaintances. Oh, she, you've oh. piqued her interest. Mm. She seems to have piqued my interest. Okay. Yeah, mm. um, yeah she's a new character on the show, uh, played by uh, an actress called Annalise Saparo, and it's a really fun, uh, new facet to kind of Buck's life. All right, and... and my senses, you haven't said mm. this, but I bet romance ensues. Is that a conversation you guys have off camera? Uh, what kind of conversation? It, 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 like, do we, uh, which mouth gloss should we use? Do we? Do we I say, oh, um, intimacy the coordinator. Intimacy, yeah, yeah well, well so, so me, me and Annalise actually met um, on a chemistry read for a movie about a year ago. Oh, wow. So, so we, we knew each other uh, before she came to this part. So, yeah. you know, it's, it's always nice to play these kind of scenes with somebody that you already have some kind of oh. rapport uh, inbuilt with. Everyone noticed your, your sudden switch to the American accent, yes. mm. your British accent. Are there certain things that you do that help you get there? Yeah, I, th I think you kind of learn little, uh, you know, placements with your tongue and, and tricks. And, and I think a lot of people, when they first enter into a new accent, think it, thinks it, uh, it's all about the sounds. And it's not necessarily just about that. There's intonation and rhythm and, and all these kind of things at play. Mm. And, so yeah, you know, some days it's it's easier than others, um, but but we, we get there I, yeah, for the most part. I think yeah. I, you know people don't tend to know when they meet me if right. they only know me from the show. So I'll take it. <laughs> uh, our on-air conversation has to end, but the uh, staff wants to talk more about the placement of the tongue thing. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. oh, wow, morning news. Wow, morning news. Don't blame them. You're the one who came up with that. Getting so awkward. They're all running out. <laughs> no, they're, <laughs>
Uh, they are <laughs> creeped out by you, old man. <laughs> we all uh, are. Nine one one is available, Oliver. of course, uh, on Fox Oliver. <laughs> Thank you, you this morning.